I am on my way to the thrift store. I want to go to Savers today. I threw on one of the sewing makes that I made a while ago. I actually pulled it up on Instagram so I could tell you what it is. It is McCall's 7948. It's an older pattern, but this is what it looks like. That's me wearing the dress. Let's see how long ago this was. Um, when did I post this? 2019 August of 2019 I haven't even worn this dress that much but I was happy to throw it on today and I'm always cold so you know how you go outside and it's nice and hot but then when you go inside it could be a little bit chilly so I have this denim jacket that I got from a thrift store a while ago it's a gap jacket but I thought it looked really nice with this dress so when I get to Savers, I'm looking for fabric. I'm just going to check and see if they have fabric. But I also am going to check in the home decor section and see if I can find anything. I've been kind of redoing my sewing room. I think I have it the way I want it. But I still want to check and see for home decor maybe in other areas of my home. So if I find something, I will definitely come back and share with you what I end up picking up. to come and get a cart because I have been finding some stuff. So this is the arrangement that I picked up today from the thrift store and I put it inside of this white vase that I already had. And this is the basket that I picked up which is going to now live right here in my sewing room on top of this cabinet. I am about to start working on my next sewing project which is McCall's 8256 and I want to make this top here in view B. I really like the sleeves and how they create a puffy look. I was looking through the pattern and I noticed that B and C are actually really the same top. The only difference is the elastic in the sleeve hem of view B. As far as the features, of course, like I mentioned, you have the elastic in the hem area. And then you also have gathers that go around the neck edge of the top. And then the neck edge is finished with a neck binding. The fabric that I am using is this 100% cotton fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It has a floral textured print to it. So hopefully this will turn out really, really cute. And I'm about to go ahead and start cutting everything out. There are five pieces to cut out. You have your front, your back, the neck binding piece, the sleeves, and then you have this elastic guide, 
which you will use to cut out elastic that will go around the bottom hem on the sleeve. So I have the front and the back attached and I'm at the point where I am ready to put the elastic in the sleeve area. It calls for a one inch elastic, but I didn't have one inch, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a half an inch. I have one sleeve done and this is how it's looking. So the sleeves are now attached and look at how wide this neck area is. What I have to do now is add the gathering stitches around the neck area and then I will pull the stitches so that they come to a point where the band will be able to fit over the neck area. My Love Share is a product that I purchased to help me further update my sewing room. So I had this black cord plugged into the wall. I pulled the black cord out of the wall and put the outlet cover on. Then I was able to take the black cord and plug it into the power strip that's on the end of the outlet cover. It just created a really clean look on the wall that I liked a lot better. Now I only bought one outlet cover because I wanted to try it out and see how I like it, but I really like it and I can definitely see myself getting more. So I will put a link in the description if you're interested in trying out this product.